everyone, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Um, make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. I'll wait because y'all be forgetting sometimes and it helps your girl out. And subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So this morning I basically did a montage of my morning routine for 2023. Um, I usually wake up pretty early. I do a Zoom workout with my girl, Life with Lori B. You can DM her on Instagram to join our workout classes. It's usually 30 minutes on the weekdays, one hour on the weekends. We are off on Mondays. So I did a quick 30 minute workout today. I showered, used some of my favorite products. I love the Dior um, cleanser for my face. I use this really good um, tea tree body cleanser for my body um and yeah <laughs> i showered got myself together i sprayed on a little baccarat i mean no i sprayed on a little byredo ball that freak which is my favorite right now it's very light mystical beautiful fragrance from byredo um i do wear perfume even when i'm not going anywhere even to go to bed um made myself an espresso i am drinking the dolce double espresso with oat milk oatly oat milk and a little bit of the hazelnut um syrup that i get from amazon i'll link it all below in my favorite mug from target which is also linked down below and then i quickly will do a face especially if i'm going to be filming like i am today um and now oh and then after that i journaled so that's pretty much my morning and I'm usually done by like 9.30 a.m., maybe 10 at the latest. Um, but that's how I start my mornings and I usually will sometimes do a bike ride after I work out. Um, but today I'm going to do my bike ride later. So that is my morning routine. Um, a lot of you have been asking about my workout routine. Um, I work out two to three times a week on Zoom. Two to three times a week I do my Get Supernatural virtual workouts with my headset, my Oculus from Meta. You guys have seen me do that before. The workouts are so fun. They really work out your upper body and legs and abs. And then I just got my new bike. You would have seen that in a previous vlog. And I usually bike every other day about 10 miles or more. Um, sometimes every day. <laughs> So yeah, that's my workout routine. Um, back in the skims dress, it's my favorite. My hair right now, you guys, I have it in little bantu knots that I did on my own hair. Um, no product in it because like today is wash day. I'm gonna wash my hair this evening and I could not do nothing else with it. So I was like, let me throw it in these little bantu knots. Yeah, so that's the look for today. Um, I do have a few new in winter pieces from Cezanne. You guys know I've been working with them. I showed you like a holiday haul with maybe like four pieces in December. Um, this month I have some sweaters. You all know I love this sweater. Um, and I will be traveling back to New York probably in February for fashion month. We'll see. Um, and for some events that I need to attend in the colder months of February. So these will come in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself dressed and show you the pieces in from Cezanne. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. And we will get started with the rest of the day. All right guys, we are going to start with this wrap skirt. This is the indie skirt from Cezanne in a beautiful color. The color is called Sand. It is a suede true wrap skirt with two buttons on the inside. And I love how it kind of has this kind of like paper bag waist almost. It's high waisted and it also has pockets. Now I love a midi skirt with pockets. This is absolutely beautiful. The quality is incredible. This is definitely great for winter. You can wear it with a nice high boot that comes up under the skirt or a booty like I'm wearing today. Um, I am wearing a size six or a 38. It feels perfect. It's definitely true to size and the perfect length. 
Now, I paired this skirt with this beautiful cardigan, also from Cezanne. They have such an incredible array of knits. So if you're in the market for a very well-made knits, definitely check them out. This is the Basile cardigan. I'm gonna untuck it so you can see. And I get it in a large because I like my knitwear to be kind of oversized. I love that I could wear it off the shoulder. It has four buttons here and a balloon sleeve as well. It's quite warm. Um, and what I love about this knit and that a lot of their knits is that they make them in multiple colors. This comes in five colors. I believe it comes in a light blue, a purple, a green, a gray. Um, so yeah, it's perfect. You could tuck it into jeans, tuck it into this skirt. You could wear it with some leggings and a tall like ash color or like sand colored boot and you're good to go. So yeah, again, I get most of my like sweaters and knits in a large because I like them to be oversized. Normally I am a medium, but if you like the oversized look, you can go ahead and size up. Okay, I have two more knits to show you from Cezanne and then we will get into the rest of our day. All right guys, next up we have the Josie Jumper in vanilla. Again, I am wearing a large and I love this knit. Oh, the detailing is so beautiful. Again, I got this in a large because I wanted it to be just a little bit oversized. Great for tucking into a skirt, tucking into denim jeans or wearing with a pair of leggings and a boot. I mean, uh, this also comes in a few different colors. Um, I think it comes in two different pinks as well as this vanilla color. And I mean, just the quality is impeccable. I know this is going to be in my wardrobe forever. And also I love it with this skirt. It's like a whole like monochrome look, which is very easy, simple and chic. If you just want to look instantly put together, a whole look full of the same colors works. And I actually really love this with the skirt. And last but not least, we have the Emily cardigan. I love this one. This is one is my favorite. I have it in sea mist, size large. This cardigan comes in six, six colors. So <laughs> any color you love, they have it. Um, it feels really good against the skin. I'm loving the round neck, the buttons down the front. And again, a nice little tuck and you are good to go. I also love that you can wear it off the shoulder. It's very much giving Parisian. Again, Cezanne is a Parisian brand started in uh, 2013 and they're all about creating high quality items and pieces um, at an accessible price and they always deliver. So definitely if you're in the market for some knitwear, I'm loving their knitwear, I'm loving their skirts as well, definitely head down to the links in my description box. I've linked everything for you all. And all of the knitwear, all of the sweaters and jumpers, I'm wearing a large because I just like my pieces large, even though I'm a true medium. And again, in this beautiful suede skirt, I am wearing a US size six or a 38 and it's true to size, fits perfect. So yeah, special thanks to Cezanne for partnering with me again this month on this portion of the video. Um, and hopefully we'll work together with them again soon. These will be so great. I'm not sure if I'm going to Paris Fashion Week at the end of February, early March, but if so, these are definitely coming with me. All right, y'all, so I just got a package in from Fenty Beauty. Ruby girl, can't wait to see you at the Super Bowl. But, uh, I'm gonna show it to you all. Um, I love that when I opened this, I saw this. Let me tell y'all, representation matters because I can't, even to this day, people pick on my gap and like at this point, I don't care. But when you're young and you are very impressionable, um, it hurts. 
So it's good to see representation like this because I know so many people with gaps who, I mean, come on, like you open a Fenty Beauty and this is what you see. That's incredible. I love that for us. All my, all my gap tooth um, women. But by the way, I've heard a lot of things about gap teeth women and they're all true. I just want to say everything's true. It's all true. Um, but yeah, they have the new shades of the Fenty Icon Semi Matte Refillable Lipsticks. I love this little thing here. This is so cute. So this is like a little refillable um, capsule. I hope you guys can see it. There we go. It's a little refillable capsule that you can put different lipsticks in. This is the top here. Ah! And I showed this on my stories today and people were loving it. You can get this at Sephora, by the way. I'll link it down below. So this is the little twisty at the bottom. And then there are three refills here. We have the, ooh, can you see? We have the Danger Dancer, uh, the Frequent Flyer, and Kissing Cutie. I'll insert a photo of swatches because I swatched them already. But I think it's so freaking genius that you can just interchange them like so. I just pop one in there. Then I'll show you how it works. Is it in there? Yeah. Is it in there? So yeah, this is the top and this is the bottom. So you just screw this onto the bottom and it opens and closes. Very, very cool. I love the design, it's beautiful. Wait, there we go, now it's closed. I love that. And then you just twist this to open it and then you pop that out. Very, very cool. I'll link this down below because I actually saw this the other day in Sephora before they sent this over. So shout out to the Fenty team. Your girl does love red. I think out of these three, my favorite is the Kissing Cutie because it's like a true pop, a deep red. All right, guys, I'm starving um, and I don't even know if I have anything edible <laughs> to eat. So maybe I'll order something. Um, but after that, I'm going to take you all with me to the grocery store because tomorrow I'm having like a little girl's evening and I want to make a charcuterie board. I've never done a charcuterie board before, but I want to head over to either Trader Joe's. There is a, another food market, like a food emporium and see if I can find like nuts and chocolates and, uh, uh, smoked meats and like apricots and just little delicious things for us to enjoy tomorrow. But I have to eat first because I'm starving. By the way, these earrings, these are like the mocha, like nude earrings from Hoop Mob. I worked with them last year. It's a black owned business, super affordable. I think these were like less than $10. And I love them because they're like flesh tone, but still a hoop. I'll be sure to link them down below. They are incredible for just beautiful earrings that you won't see anywhere else. Um, all right guys, let's figure out some lunch. Pure Vita. Um, it's a very like healthy chain restaurant here in Miami Beach. Um, they have one in the design district, a few in Wynwood, Brickell, um, two on the beach. And I love their like salmon bowl with mango and rice and arugula, um, tomatoes, so good. And I also got my favorite smoothie from them, which is the Welcome to Miami. If you're ever in Miami, check out Pure Vita, super healthy and delicious. Um, so now I'm going to head to the grocery store because I want to get 
some bits to make charcuterie. I'm having a little gathering at my house tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna figure out something to wear, something super easy. It's nice out, um, a little breezy, but nice. And I'm gonna take a nice long walk and take you guys with me. So I'll check back in once I'm dressed and ready. Um, and then we'll go run some errands. All right guys, here's what I'm wearing. These old and other stories mom jeans. Every time I wear them, I get questions. They no longer make them. Yeah, they no longer make them. I've worn them so much. They're ripped here in the back on both sides, um, but they're my favorite. Um, and this little Zara crop top tee in black. I have it in a ton of colors. It's my favorite, it's so wrinkled, um, but I don't care. And then my Chanel dad sandals in black. That is the look. Just heading to the grocery store really quick. Um, I do want to put on a fragrance though. I think we're going to go with, um, let's do, let's do this one. I've been liking, um, the Initio Oud for Greatness mixed with, why isn't this focusing? Focus. Yeah, so I'm loving this. And I like to mix it with something more feminine. I think today I'll try it with Byredo Rose because this is definitely a more feminine and this is super masculine. So we'll see how this works out today. And I'll let you know when I get back. I'm gonna let this be the base. So I'm only gonna spray like two pumps because it's pretty strong. And then I'll do three of this. Okay, initially I feel like it's doing a lot. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how the dry down goes. I'm gonna put on a little bit more of this Dior. A nine one zero. Actually, earlier I had on makeup by Mario Nicole, which is a lighter brown. This is darker. I'm going for my little vampy look today because I think a darker lip looks better with this hairstyle. Oh, this one's coming loose. Let me redo this one and then we're off. That's I really love these um, headphones and I just put them in between my bantu nuts. So yeah, let's, let's go grocery shop. I can't be what you want for me, well all right. Oh why, uh, oh why, uh, I, I. Ah. All right y'all, listening to a little J. Cole there. Took a trip to Trader Joe's. Um, I've never made a charcuterie board before, so I'm pretty sure 
I forgot a lot of stuff. But let me show you what I got from Trader Joe's. My, oh my God, my flag! My bill came up to $71, which is probably the most I've ever spent at Trader Joe's. I got some tulips. These are my favorite flowers, especially white tulips. They're so beautiful. Um, I just wanted to get a little de decor around the place for my company tomorrow. So this one is 10 stems and they're longer. So pretty. And these are shorter. This is 20 stems. But these are kind of not good. Like they're already kind of withering, but it's fine. They'll last for tomorrow during my gathering. I got some bananas. These are just for me. Um, for my charcuterie, I got some strawberries. We have strawberries. Ooh. Um, I got a little chocolate coconut almonds. These are, can you see them? These are the Trader Joe's brand. I thought something chocolatey nashon would be cute and delicious. I also got some dried um, apricots. I didn't know that they're not like supposed to be super bright orange, but it makes sense that these are kind of brown, but these are organic apricots, which I love an apricot. Um, I got just some regular or classic original water crackers. Um, and then I got some fig and olive crisp crackers. I love these, they're so good. Um, and then I got two things of cheese. I only like manchego cheese, like in a board. So that's all I got. So I hope this is good enough. <laughs> um, but this is the cheese I got. It's aged 12 months. Yeah. So there's hardly any lactose in this because it's been aged for a year which is why I can eat it and not like have a really bad reaction or like break out super bad. Anything kind of less than three months is, that still has its lactate in it and it will mess me up. So yeah, I got two things of these. And then I got just some little meats. It's only gonna be four of us and like we're going to dinner right after, so I'm not gonna be eating a lot. So in this, they have salami, prosciutto, and capo, capocolo. I don't even know what that is, but I got two of these. So with just those items, I'm gonna try and make a charcuterie uh, tomorrow when my guests come. Um, and I did get like a little board in. Let me see. Sorry, it's like disgusting in here. So I have two little boards. This big thick one is the one that I, I got from Lulu and Georgia the same time I got my wooden bench in my hallway up in, in my hallway upstairs. Um, and this one, I forgot who sent this one to me, but I'll probably use the big one and just kind of set it up here on my new console from a CB2. Just sit it right here and let people like nosh. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put these flowers where I want them to go. Put all of this stuff up. And then I would really like to go for a bike ride today. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2.55 p.m. By the way, I am trying to respond from the right place. Was this the advice you expected? Yes. Great, thank you. All right, so it's about three o'clock, which is normally around the time I ride. Um, I'm gonna put all this stuff away, put my flowers where they need to go. Then I'm gonna put on a little biking outfit. And then I'm probably gonna go bike for like an hour. Mm, yeah. So I'll check back in when I'm in my bike gear and we'll go for a little ride. And then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I'm like getting ready for guests. And also, I have a dinner. I have a dine tomorrow. So we're gonna go check out this restaurant that I think is gonna be incredible tomorrow night after meeting with my friends. So I'll check in soon, guys. But if you are enjoying the video thus far, please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All of this stuff. 
All right, guys, so I wanted to show you how the flowers turned out. I always put my white tulips in this vase from H&M Home. They have some really good stuff at H&M. In fact, you're resting <laughs> on an H&M vase there. Um, and here, I put the longer tulips in my vase from, gosh, why can't I remember the name? Um, it's the infamous, like, boob <laughs> vase. And I love how it looks. Can you see how they're kind of hanging because they're long? Let me bring you guys closer. So I actually really love this look. Usually I put like the shorter ones like this in this vase, but I love this. So I'm gonna continue getting the longer ones and letting them just kind of like hang over like hair. By the way, I got this vase from Farfetch and I think they're currently having a sale. So I'll link this vase down below if any of you are interested. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Yes, mine's is chipped. I don't care, um, but yeah, I love it. Also, like my little booty vases are also from this same brand, but I love the long look. I think it'll be great for my gathering tomorrow. All right, guys, so I usually put this little vase here and this bookshelf that I had made right here so that when I take pictures in this mirror here, when I sit on this bench, this is the bench from Lulu in Georgia that I was telling you about. You can see the flowers and they smell really good. And they're close enough to my bed that I can smell them. So that's where they live, right in there. As you can see, this mirror everyone asks about, it's from West Elm. I don't recommend it because it's a funny mirror. It makes you look like wider. But for now, this is the mirror I'm gonna stick with. So yeah, I did not get to bike earlier today as part of my like uh, exercise routine. So I'm gonna put on some biking clothes and I'm gonna go and do maybe like an hour bike ride. I'm gonna come back home, probably wash my hair and get ready for tomorrow. Um, I think I'm gonna wear these shorts that I got from Amazon, these cycling shorts. Uh, and just a sports bra because it's pretty hot. So I'll be right back and I'll show you guys the look. All right, guys, so here is my cycling look. I've been asked about these shades. I actually got them from the bike store. They are the brand 100 and they are hella expensive. Like <laughs> these were like $300, like the cost of a pair of Gucci sunglasses. So yeah. I'm wearing a little Skims sports bra. These little cycling shorts I actually got from Amazon and I love them. I got them in a medium. I just love that they're short, but they still have a pocket. It's been really hard for me to find like short cycling shorts that actually have a pocket here. Um, and they were very affordable. They came in like a day. So I'll link these down below in case anyone is interested. My gloves are I also got these at the cycling store, so I don't know who they are by. Um, and then I'm just wearing my Nikes from when I worked with Nike um, last year. I love these, they're so comfortable. I like these for riding. I don't have like cycling shoes. I don't clip in or anything yet as far as rides. So yeah, these work out great. Um, so that is my cycling look. It's 80 degrees or it's 78 degrees outside. So I know I'm gonna sweat. Um, and I'll try to record a little bit of my ride and insert it for you guys. But that's the look. Let's go. I'm back from my ride. I only did 15 miles, but I am a sweaty mess. I'm gross. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I have a video that I was thinking about maybe just waiting and making it live on Sunday, but today is Wednesday and I did say I was gonna get back on my regular schedule. 
So I'm gonna, I'm uploading it now to YouTube. I'm gonna do the description box for it, get it up, um, and then I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. So I will see you all tomorrow. day two of this vlog I spent pretty much the entire morning cleaning um, because I'm gonna have some girlfriends over today um, and then I'm heading to dinner um, with my girl Rhea I think we're going for dim sum um, but I'll give you more details on that later last night I washed my hair and I did a twist out using Camille Rose um, almond jade twisting butter it smells so good i'll link it down below and i just took all of the twists out it's actually still a little wet yikes anywho i got myself together it's a really like chill girls day so i didn't want to dress up but i'm wearing this jacquemus twist top um i've had this for a while you can wear it either way you can wear this as the front or you can wear like the t-shirt version as the front and then have this little twist in the back um, it's one of my favorite shirts i don't think they make this anymore uh, but skims has a similar version a crop version and a longer version so i'll be sure to link those down below in case you are interested um, and then i just put on one of my favorite little denim maxi skirts this is from simonette um, but they no longer have it online but this is very similar to the zara denim skirt uh, so I'll link this down below. You guys know maxi skirts are in. Um, I did a very plain face. The lip is Makeup by Mario Nicole, which is one of my favorites. It's like a, it has a little bit of sheen. It's very moisturizing, but it's brown. Um, because I've been getting so many questions about mixing fragrances and things, I'm gonna go over my favorite fragrances now. It's gonna be super quick. I don't know a lot of the notes. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you when I wear it, how it smells to me, um, and the reaction I usually get when I wear it. And uh, I'll link them all down below. You can click the links and then you can check out the notes yourself. I'm the kind of girl who likes musky, sweet, um, not sweet like candy sweet, but barely sweet um kind of masculine almost fragrances i like things with a lot of oud um vanillas musk very sensual whole warm scents i rarely wear things that are very like fresh um, but i do have a few of those so let's get started the perfume i wear the most in my collection is lilabo um Te Noir 29 I love this fragrance. It smells very weird. That's all I can say. It's kind of, I don't know what it is. It smells like pheromones. Like the things that you smell in like a mate and you don't know what it is. You can't put your finger on it, but you like the way they smell. Um, that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Um, because it is um, a Lalabo fragrance, the 29 stands for how many compounds is in this fragrance. Um, but for me, it's very mysterious. It's not really like, it's slightly sweet. It's pungent, but in like the best way possible. It smells like a, a free spirit to me. I usually mix this with other things. I rarely wear this alone. If I want to give a fragrance just an extra je ne sais quoi, this is what I use. Sometimes I will, I will wear it alone, um, like on a first date. And I find that men love this. I don't know why, but this, this sends men over the edge. Um, 
yeah so for me it's a good nighttime fragrance layering fragrance and date night um i'll be sure to again link all of these down below if you want to go and check out the notes yourself you can if you have a lalabo store where you live you can go and have it monogrammed um, when you buy it you can see it has my name on there um, and also if you keep the bottle the refills are a little bit cheaper i believe so yeah number one on my list anytime i wear something i usually mix it with this and it just takes it to another level Next up is Baccarat Rouge 540. This is basically rich bee smell in a bottle. Um, when I wanna impress someone, when I'm going to an event with a lot of affluent people, when I wanna make an impression, everyone knows what this smells like, even though I feel like it smells slightly different on different people. Um, but this says, hey, I mean business, and I'm about my money. So don't play with me. I'm a person you should know. Put me in your Rolodex. Um, hit me up. Let's hang. Let's work. Let's make money. Let's build. Let's connect. Um, let's level up. That's what this smells like. It is very expensive. It's Maison Francis. It smells very good. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's sophisticated. I love this smell. You can definitely wear this alone. The staying power is incredible. If you spray this on your clothes, it's gonna still smell like that three months later when you pull that thing out. Um, so it is worth it. The staying power is great. The smell is great. It's also a really good combination when I mix it with the Tay Noir. This is one of my favorite mixtures. A lot of you have actually tried this mixture and you said you love it. So I must be on to something. This is great for, like I told you, you're meeting someone new, a business meeting. You mean business. You wear a uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. Next up, I would wear this fragrance quite a bit. I also mix this a lot with uh, the Tay Noir because this is very kind of girly, very kind of powdery, very almost barely there, but it smells super feminine, but not so sweet that it's sickly. And I love it. It does give kind of a powdery um, feel. This is the Saint Clair by Joseph Duclos. I bought this in Paris during Paris Fashion Week. I went to their store, checked out their bags. They make incredible bags. But this fragrance, when I walked into the store, this is, I think they had a candle burning and they had also sprayed this around the store. As soon as I walked in, I said, what is that? <laughs> Whatever it is, wrap it up. I need it smells just so elevated feminine it, it's like my my favorite perfume when i just want to feel feminine um i can wear this alone i can also layer it it's a beautiful bottle you can get this online um you don't have to be in paris so i will link this down below uh so beautiful. the bottle is so beautiful another one of my favorites by rado ball d'afrique um this is like my go-to fragrance for like every day um especially if it's summertime because for me it gives rich african it gives black excellence it gives like a warm summer night someplace tropical like it's it's a, such a beautiful fragrance the staying power for me is really good um, it's a good layering, but I love wearing this by itself. Anytime someone wears this, I know exactly what it is because it smells divine. Um, one of my favorites of all time. I probably wear this more as a daytime fragrance, an everyday fragrance, or just when I want to feel like sexy, I wear this. It's a good nighttime fragrance, but you can wear it during the day as well. Um... My fun fragrance that I've been wearing a lot of is the new Prada Paradox. It's sweet, it's fun, it's flirty. This is for, you know, when I have like a daytime event and I'm just out, maybe I'm going to brunch with the girls. I, maybe I'll wear this today. Um, it has really good staying power. Yeah, and it's kind of sweet. This is a good day fragrance. This is a good day fragrance or if you're going to like a daytime party or an event, this is good for that. Love Prada Paradox. Um, I have a few more. Uh, the Christian Dior Bois d'Argent. It's very light, 
powdery, kind of woodsy, oozy, vanilla-y. It's super light. I like to wear this if I'm not going anywhere. If I'm just gonna be in a house, after I shower and put on a house dress, I put this on. After I get out of the shower at the end of the day and I put on something to go to sleep in, I'll spray a little bit of this. Yes, I wear per perfume, just a little sleep. <laughs> Like I just I like it. It smells really really good. This is like the kind of fragrance When you want someone to fall in love with you And you like sleep over at their place like before you leave you just spray this on your side of the bed or on your pillow and They will never forget you They can't they are only smelling Christian Dior Bois d'Argent and it's very light like they You barely even know it's there, but you can smell it um, and the staying power on it is fairly good you guys know I've been working with Dior Beauty for almost a year now. That's crazy. I'll be working with them. Uh, I'm actually now, I can announce it. I am a Dior Beauty ambassador. Um, so I'll be working with them this quarter. Very, very excited about that. But this smells incredible. And it also comes in like a little discovery set um, with I think like 12 fragrances that you can get for 200 bucks, I believe, um, from Dior. So I'll be sure to link this down below. If I have a code, I'll, I'll put that in the description box as well. Uh, really, these are just the ones I wear the most. Of course, you guys know I wear a lot of the Zara Unusual Fruit. It has fig in it. Uh, I like anything with fig. This is a good, just everyday fragrance. Not too strong. The staying power is good. It has this certain je ne sais quoi. I guess that's why it's called unusual, but I really love the fig in this. It's only 20 bucks. So yeah, I love all of the unusual fruits from Zara, but I mean, unusual fragrances from Zara, but the unusual fruit is definitely my favorite. Sans 33, I don't wear it that often, but this is the fragrance of New York. It smells like a well-dressed man but it is unisex and I love when men wear this but I like to wear it too to kind of elevate any super feminine scent that I'm wearing anything fruity super super sweet very very powdery I'll spray one or two pumps of this to kind of bring it down <laughs> into like more of a masculine scent which is what I like so that scent's Hall 33 everyone in New York wears this if you walk down the streets in New York <laughs> Three out of five people is wearing this, whether they're a woman or a man. Santal 33, amazing. Um, I've recently gotten into Rose and Byredo Rose of No Man's Land, I really like because it doesn't really smell like Rose. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Like Rose sometimes can be sickly. This isn't. This is a very much an elevated Rose. And I really, really like this. I like mixing this with the uh, Tay Noir. Tay Noir is also all, always kind of my go-to when mixing. Um, last but not least, and these are my most worn. I've gotten quite a few new ones in, but I'm not gonna do the whole thing. Um, jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It's very light and fresh. This is probably the only light, fresh fragrance that I wear. And when I wear it, it reminds me of Miami. Because when I first moved to Miami, I bought this and I wore it every day. Um, it does smell like wood, it does smell, smell like sage, it does smell like, like the sea, like sea salt mixed with wood. It's a beautiful fragrance. The staying power is really good too. In fact, I think I'm gonna wear this today. Oh yeah, oh, so good. All right guys, so those are all of my favorite fragrances at the moment. I'll link them all down below if we have similar like palettes when it comes to fragrances. I think you will like these. Um, so yeah, that's that on that. I'll show you my whole outfit because I don't think I showed it to you in the mirror. And then I'm gonna head down and get started on my charcuterie board for the girls. All right guys, here is the full look. Super chill. Just this Jacquemus top. Again, I've linked a similar one from um, Skims and this Simonette denim skirt. 
what I like about this is it has this really cool like pocket <laughs> down at the bottom, which is fun. And then like this really cool pocket in the back. Um, Zara definitely has something similar. I think Margiela has a similar skirt. So I'll be sure to link a few more denim maxis. They are still in style. They are not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head downstairs and get this charcuterie board together because I think my guests will probably start arriving in about an hour. get to use these glasses I got these from um, crate CB2 they're so beautiful I like to mix it up um, it's I think it's gonna be four of us so I have two of these and then I'm breaking out my Tiffany champagne glasses that I got for Christmas if you watch the what I got for Christmas vlog you know that um, an affiliate company that I've been working with for Zara sent these to me. Um, they are very affordable. I believe they're like maybe $150 for two. Um, it's a beautiful gift. So I'll be sure to link these down below. Um, and I have some champagne. What I wanna do, since I don't have anything in this vase here, I have a monstera leaf plant. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to get no plants, y'all, but if you've been following me on, on Instagram and watching my stories, y'all know I saved a monstera leaf plant from the trash that someone was throwing away. Um, and it's just so overgrown. I need to repot it, but I think I'm just going to cut maybe like two of the leaves off and see if I can propagate them here in this space. So this will have some nice greenery uh, and then it'll be right next to the charcuterie. I probably will end up just putting this here on the table anyway um i also have patio furniture and i do have a table outside so if it's nice and well it is really beautiful today we'll probably end up out on the patio um i can also just move the charcuterie board to the table outside so yeah looking forward to hosting my first little party um let's get this board together i'll show you i already showed you everything that i bought from um Trader Joe's the other day. You guys, I have to let you know, these are delicious. Uh, these chocolate coconut almonds, Trader Joe's brand. Screenshot this immediately if it will focus and get them. They are so good. I was noshing on them all last night. I almost ate all of them. I can't even lie, I almost ate all of them. Um, they're so good. Next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm going to make sure I stock up on those. Um, all right, so I'm going to go out, cut those plants, and then I'll come back in, dress this vase, and then we'll get started.
All right, guys, I'm getting started. I never made a charcuterie board, so I'm just free balling it. <laughs> um, I have these dried apricots. I made a little circle with them, and then I put these little chocolate things on the inside. So this will be like the sweet portion. I think I'm going to put um, strawberries, uh, cheese, crackers, and like meats. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I have my cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up. And then I have all of my meats here. Um, and I need to cut the tops off of the strawberries. And then my two different kinds of crackers. So pretty self-explanatory. Let's get to work. guys I'm a bit frazzled <laughs> my guests will be here in 30 minutes the way I threw this board together like my board is too small I have too much stuff I didn't set it up cute it's my first one so I'm sure I did this wrong I'll probably put things next to each other that aren't supposed to be next to each other and I kind of know that for sure but for the sake of time I don't care it's about to be eaten all in like 20 minutes but let me show you how it turned out again this board is from lulu and georgia it's like one of those thick boards um the etu home i mean looking at it through the viewfinder it actually looks cute like i feel like i did something so we have um manchego cheese aged uh one year my favorite we have some like fig crackers just regular crackers some strawberries some prosciutto um i think pepperoni and something else apricots we have a little chocolate and coconut covered almonds um and that's it yeah have some little plates here some napkins it's a cute little setup um i have my glasses over here um i have a little bit of vov in here chilling i can probably go ahead and take these out and get these started well at least one for now um and yeah we're just gonna chill sit out on the patio it's beautiful today it's maybe like 80 degrees let me see alexa what's the weather the current weather is 80 degrees fahrenheit with partly sunny skies tonight you can expect mostly clear skies with a low of 60 so yeah, it's 80 degrees, can definitely sit outside on the patio um, and we'll just take our drinks and things out there and just like relax. So I'm very happy to be having my first little shindig. Um, guests should be arriving soon. Um, you've probably seen everybody before. Steph is coming. She came with us on the boat. She's been in a few vlogs. Of course, Rhea's coming. Um, and our friend Cassidy is coming. Um, I went to one of her events at, I think it's called Dunkaroo, the Jamaican restaurant, and she's been in a few vlogs as well. So yeah, we we're just gonna chat. We last met up, I think last week we went to a restaurant opening, but I was not like really vlogging then, or maybe two weeks ago. Not a restaurant opening, we went to Maloko, which is a new restaurant here on the beach. It's actually been here for maybe like six months. Um, and we had such a good time. I'll pop some photos up here. Um, we took some photos together. We had fun. It was like really what I needed because that was like the height of when I was going through it. And I just needed girl talk. And it was so good. It was so like revitalizing for me. Um, so yeah, should be fun. I'm going to crack open this bottle and drink a little something because your girl needs it. I mean, it's not like I've had a rough day, but... It took me a little bit of time to put this thing together, y'all. I can't even front. I'm frazzled.
guys so all the girls just left my charcuterie was a success even though it didn't look that great y'all have to go get those chocolates from trader joe's everything was from trader joe's everybody ate everything so happy um so now ria and i are about to head to dinner let me tell you where we're going because also, I've been drinking, so I might be a tiny bit tipsy. We're going to Hakkasan, which is a dim sum night brunch. Should be really fun. It's at Faina. No, it's at the Fountain Blue. Um, so I just called an Uber. I'll show you guys the look, but it's the same top. I just changed the skirt into my favorite high-waisted black Zara skirt and my Bottega Clear Mules um, and my Chanel bag. So that's the look for tonight for dinner. That was really fun. It was nice having the girls over. We talked, all of us are content creators. Um, or in that industry and so it's nice to just sit and chat and have fun and drink and laugh and it was really really great let me show you the full look and then we are off to Hakkasan all right guys so I hope you can see me I'm a little yellow still have on the Jacquemus top the skirt is from Zara it's a high-waisted kind of like pencil skirt one of my favorites if they still have it I'll link it down below I went with my Bottega clear little mules. They're white, they're comfy, and my clear Chanel PVC bag. I've seen a few of these on Fashion File, on Rebag, so I'll link a few. I just freshened up my lip, my hair, and yeah, I'm ready for like a real meal. Um, the charcuterie was delicious, but I need a meal. A real meal right so everything is linked down below if I can find it let's go to dinner all right guys we're here fountain blue we're late <laughs>
in from dinner at Hakkasan. It was delicious. Pretty much Asian cuisine. It's on the fourth floor inside of the Fountain Blue Hotel. I've been to the Fountain Blue so many times. I've taken you guys with me to concerts for Halloween. I think I did a pool day there during swim week. Um, just so many events and I never knew about this restaurant. It is absolutely beautiful. Very kind of dark, mysterious vibes. Great for a date night for sure. I think date night it's giving date night vibes the food was really really good everything we had we had pretty much so much stuff um from appetizers to like dim sum um everything was delicious uh especially like anything with shrimp in it so good i think there was like a shrimp and sesame seed like bun or roll that was really really delicious yeah so my girl Rhea invited me to go to that with her so it was really fun I'll put details down below if you're staying at Fountain Blue or you're coming into town definitely a very sexy vibey place for a date night um I am so tired <laughs> I cannot wait to take a shower wash all this makeup off my face take off these clothes and climb into my bed and go to sleep um, I'm actually really sore from my bike ride the other day and from working out as well. So I need to stretch. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up bright and early and do like a workout and maybe a bike ride. Um, my little housewarming party was really fun. Uh, Rhea came, Stephanie, Cassidy. We all had a great time. Everyone really enjoyed my charcuterie board even though it's the first time I ever made one. Um, yeah, we just had a good time just talking and laughing and having fun. But yeah, that is it for this vlog. It's probably a little short, but that's okay. I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow. I'm showing you guys some new things I got in. I actually just got a package today from Farfetch. Um, I have a few things in from and other stories. You guys know I, I'm an ambassador for them. Uh, so in the next vlog, I'll be showing some fashion and things that I've gotten in. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do give your girl a thumbs up. It helps me out. Um, you can do it from your TV. Just hit the up button, go over, hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you join the family. I would love to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. Um, and yeah, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right, guys, everything you've seen in today's video is linked down below in the description box. Every place I went, everything I did, everything I wore. Um, yeah, check it out down below. I'm going to go ahead and turn in for the night because your girl is tired. I am. I'm exhausted. I'm actually going to leave all this stuff down here so that I can just clean it up in the morning. I'll see you guys in the next one. The magic of vlogging. <laughs>